guys i'm just gonna go ahead and show you what this mini 3 pro can do indoor garage parking lot and also outdoor rooftop parking lot and you can see what this mini 3 pro can do and even though you have a bad signal and also what this bypass focus track can do and hopefully dji throw another former update just to smooth it out the active track features but the obstacle avoidance i'm impressed i mean it works flawlessly it can actually detect from the roof and also from front and back and also from the top i don't not too sure about the side but it seems like the camera sensor is pretty smart enough ei built into it that is like saying that you know side obstacles don't need to use it because the image of the front camera can detect obstacles before it arrived but anyway guys what this machine can do is amazing 249 gram doing this i mean you would expect like scadio or uh, mavic air 2s would do this but of course i'm just going to show you here for you understand what this machine can do I learned it and um, i want to go and share it my experience flying in low light and also the bad signal like what i said earlier and of course right now it's only been three months this drone came out and right now is july 21st summer of 2022 so like i said i'm very impressed what this machine can do but i'm just going to enjoy it to you guys here what my experience and the stuff that i have to deal with especially flying in low light environment and also coming back out in this condition and what i've experienced so far so for you guys to know what else what this machine can do and yeah of course right now it's been three months old i'm pretty sure dj is gonna throw in four more updates i would help especially flying indoor you can see here and you can see here in low lights i mean what this machine can do in 49 gram i'm still impressed but anyway guys i'm gonna show it to you what this thing can do you can skip this video if you want to and you can just look the stuff that i have to all do. right you guys can see we're gonna do a quick active track here reason why i'm doing that because right here is raining so we're just gonna do indoor ride and I'm here in florida we always have sun. a bad weather and unpredictable weathers i would say so let's see if we can if you can follow us around, it would be great. Okay, so striking. Okay, come on. And then we're gonna go ahead and check it out if we can if we can track us on this. Uh, okay, watch out. All right, let's go. If we can track us. All right, and and go. Yeah, let's see. Okay, hold on for a second. All right, let's go ahead. If you can. So the Mavic Mini 3 Pro is pretty smart enough. That has the sensor. You can see it said low lights environment. It's pretty smart. But of course, it does have a bottom LED light, so that means I can only use spotlight mode. I can't use trace mode, means that spotlight modes, I can only stay in one area and the camera just follows me or whatever it needs to do. But it can do it. But hopefully, DJI throws some former updates so it can be a little bit smoother and better and hopefully it can track me around in this indoor parking lot garage, I would say. And the signal here is really bad. Okay, here you go. And then let's see if we can. So it's low light, it's too dark. Let's see. Yeah, so it will not, it will not, it will not want to track. So, okay, hold on. So it doesn't want to track you. So, okay, let's go ahead. Stop it. Okay, let's go. One more time. So now we try this. So it's not going to track you because it's, it's too dark indoors. So we're just going to go ahead and... Hey, stop that. <laughs> and then we're just going to go ahead and go, go outdoor with it. 
Yeah, so we're just gonna go outdoor. So we're gonna do everything manually. Okay, now, now we have it. Now we have it right here. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. It's, it's too, it's too bright. Hold on. There you go. It's too bright. Then we're gonna go ahead and have it right here like this. So let's go ahead. And see if we can track us down. Okay, sit down. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can track us. So it does track us, so let's go. You can see here, it's tracking. Woohoo! So we can, it can actually track us. <laughs> it can track us. Wow, so we can't go in here. It's illegal. All right, we're not supposed to do this, guys. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have a mini four-wheeler, you can always get away with it. Of course, a mini drone. And you can see okay, here, guys, I'm not even supposed to be here, but anyway, what's around? no one's gonna stop me. It just rained, right? So, <laughs> so I'm you just can go right around. If they wanna catch me, catch me if they can. Following us around. He's ah! still tracking us. Wow, awesome. You can see here the limit so is 73 no feet problem. up. That's where the truck can actually track you, but hopefully DJI I will like I would say will throw in a former update so you can track you higher than this you can see here yeah Woohoo! okay so he does follow us around yeah so you do pretty good So you can get away with electric mini four-wheeler and I would say mini drone we'll return this way. because it's so quiet riding it around, you know, if this is fuel, so I probably get kicked off from here, right? But anyway, I'm just Pretty showing smart. you. Yeah. Ah, it's wet out here. <laughs> So we're in the garage and the roof. So see how far can it track us? It does still track me. Wow, it does still track. Come on. So we're going downhill now. Wow. So it's tracking you while you're going downhill. Pretty cool. Look at that. Yay. Yeah, let me go ahead and see if it can follow us going downhill. All right, let's go. See the trees. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on. We're going to go ahead and check it out again if you can follow us in the indoors. Come on. You can see here the obstacle avoidance from the top actually works. So you can actually see look at that. that. You can see in. a little sensor. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, so it doesn't. 
Yeah, it doesn't really want to track. So it's just going to go into spotlight. That's what it's doing. It doesn't really want to follow us anymore. Okay, let's go ahead. No! No! You can see here, you see that car symbol? So it's basically, you, you know, it, the, the focus track, the AI is pretty smart enough. Okay. But of course, um, like right now, it's still early. This is the reason why I said it needs a phone right, let's go update. Ahead and zoom in. But the most important thing is, guys, that it, I can well, still have see. a see video that I show it to you guys, you know. At, at least the obstacle avoidance works good in low so light it's, too, it's, it's actually reading thing. it too low so and of course this thing right uh -huh, here let's go it ahead can so it can, can't can, really like I mean, that's nothing it but can't I'm really follow you that's a good thing i mean you know you can just while you're riding around over here gram, guys like you know, even like, a skydio two or plus you would say you would probably crash because apparently the low light would not work and also yeah, so the bad it. signal using wi-fi at least i'm using accusync and the RC controller can, is flawlessly great. I'm impressed. Um, yeah, I will okay, go ahead and go. show you uh, compare this to Air 2S, the LED light, and that's about it, guys. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and go from here.